also love to tell other Jews what they missed, right? My parents literally called me like three weeks ago and they were like, you missed some wedding? Ugh, was this a wedding? And you missed it. And I was like, I wasn't invited. And they were like, you think we were invited? That's why I like performing for my people, because you're almost rooting for me to do well. Because the better I do, the more people you get to call and say, you missed some show. <laughs> Ugh, was this a show. We have to be proud, Jews. We have to be strong. We have to be very strong in, in this climate, very strong. You know what we have to be? Israeli. Am I right? Yes. We have to be Israeli. And I know what you're thinking, but Israelis are Jews. Not really. I mean, sure, technically, obviously, of course, they're Jews. But there is a difference between Israelis and Jews. Okay? Israelis, each and every one of them, gets drafted into the service. Jews, we complain about a draft to the service. A waiter, is there a vent open? I I feel something blowing on my shoulder. I would love to see like an Israeli guy get into an argument with an Italian guy from the Bronx, you know? It would just be like a fight over who has the problem, right? Like, hey, you got a problem? Me? No, I don't have a problem. You have a problem? Yeah, that's right. I got a problem. You got a freaking problem? Yes, I do. It's you. You're my problem, okay? You're my problem. Oh, yeah? I'm your problem? I'm your problem. That's right. I don't have any other problem. Only you. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do about your problem? You going to solve it? You got a calculator or something? I don't need a calculator. I do it in my head. One minus one equals zero. That's what you all. <laughs> Boom. He wins that, right? He wins that argument. Thank you, people. Thank you. I do. What can I say? I love, I love the Israeli people. Do we have Israelis here tonight, by the way? Oh, my God. I love Shalom, Chaverim, Shalom. I love Israelis. I never know where I stand, though, when I'm talking to an Israeli because they always sound like they're annoyed. Even when they're happy, even about good things like the weather, they'll be like, it's beautiful outside. I don't believe it. <laughs> Are you mad that it's nice out? What do you mean mad? It's gorgeous. The sun is shining. Take a look. I don't know, you're yelling at me, your eyebrows are furrowed, this does not look like happiness, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're the opposite of people from New Zealand. People from New Zealand always sound happy. You could tell them the worst news, they'd be like, what's that? Emphysema, is that right? <laughs> How much time I got left? Six months, well that's about two seasons, right? <laughs> Better than one season, most guys would be dead by the spring. I never know where I stand when I'm talking to an Israeli. It's the weirdest thing because here's the other thing they do that troubles me. They end every sentence with a question. So they will come over to me after a show and they'll be like, uh, you did funny show. No? <laughs> what do you mean no? It wasn't funny? No, this is what I'm saying. The people, uh, they were laughing. Yes? <laughs> I don't know anymore actually. I thought they were, they were laughing because you had funny jokes. Why? I didn't ask why, you're asking why. All right guys, are you ready to start this? I think we've warmed you up sufficiently. Thank you.